Jeannie. Yes, sir. Maybe you can help. I don't want to sound personal, but when you left school and came to work here, you and Paul used to get out together quite a bit. Well, that's right, but I don't exactly know what happened. Uh, Paul just stopped calling me. I know what happened. He got involved with a communist group at school. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry, Mr. Brand. I don't want to involve you in this, but it doesn't do any good for me to talk to Paul. I always seem to say the wrong things, and he twists my words back at me. I'd like to help, but I, I don't know what I can do. I, he certainly wouldn't listen to me. Do you know anybody at the university who could talk to him? Well, we used to listen to Pastor Bob Myers. He's a student pastor at the university. Paul seemed to like him a lot, but now I don't know. It's worth a chance. I'll see him this afternoon. Thank you, Jeannie. All right, Mr. Brand. Oh, I can't say that I recall your son, but uh, with 12,000 students on the campus, I only work with those who come to see me or those whose need is brought to my attention. I guess it's my fault. After his mother died, Paul never had much time for church. What's happened to Paul has happened to quite a few other young people. This is a book on communism written by J. Edgar Hoover. It's called Masters of Deceit. One chapter tells about a boy, fine mind, intensely interested in the world about him and in science, but who had gradually lost his belief in God. Well, this boy came into contact with communist thinking in college. And in Mr. Hoover's words, believed he had found a new faith. Well, from what you say, your son also seems to feel that he has found a new faith. I never thought of it this way. I guess you're right. Anything you can do to help him? I don't know, Mr. Brandt, but I do know some of the fellows at his fraternity house. Maybe I could drop by and find a chance to meet him. Pastor, I'll be so grateful for anything you can do. I'll try and meet your son as soon as possible. And my guess is that his communist friends are going to move pretty fast now that he's talked to you. Yeah. 